Welcome back, another episode. Don't forget to subscribe. It's time to act out when your intelligence is humble, or at least that's what Young Sheldon Season 7 Episode 3 implies. Everything seemed a little off when we last saw the brilliant Cooper Toddler and Young Sheldon. In Episode 2, Sheldon's notion that he was an invincible student in the classroom was dashed when his new German professor said he needed immediate coaching. Although Mary was thrilled about Sheldon receiving tutoring, there were more pressing matters to attend to in her own Texas. The remaining Cooper family members have been attempting to put their lives back on track following the catastrophic tornado in Season 6, with unexpected outcomes. Sheldon doesn't want to spend any more time in the classroom after experiencing such a public humiliation there. He asks Mary to let him travel alone because he is eager to see Germany by rail, but she promptly turns him down. Sheldon informs Mary that he will be spending the day in the library before purchasing a ticket and embarking on a full-day train journey while he is covertly studying the train timetable. Even though everything is going smoothly at first, when Sheldon stops the train when it is halted to get strudel, things go south. Sheldon's backpack remains on the passenger seat as it abruptly rolls off, abandoning him stranded in the middle of nowhere with no way to get assistance. Sheldon tries to call Missy for assistance, but she merely shuts him down, so he tries to use tact to persuade two police officers to give him a ride home. Sheldon has to walk when they decide they can't stand his constant chattering, and while he does so, a Datshund attacks him. Mary has been briefed on the issue by Missy by the time Sheldon returns, though she doesn't write down the specifics. Mary chooses to make Sheldon sweat by believing that he got away with it and allowing the guilt to consume him from the inside, despite his only admission of the dog attack. The Coopers have an affection for letters. George writes Mary a letter in Young Sheldon Season 7 Episode 3 to cut cost after deciding the phone bill is too high. She considers this a welcome surprise and answers by thinking back to George's army days. Through letters, the two begin a regular back-and-forth conversation that develops into a love affair, with George sending pictures of what Mary is missing from her family. The rest of the Cooper family decides to give it a shot because of the romance and success Mary and George are enjoying through their letters. Feeling irritated that she hasn't heard from her daughter, Mima writes a letter to Mary, while Georgie tries to win Mandy over with an almost unsettling love letter. Once more, Missy rebels. In Young Sheldon Season 7, Missy assumed a more maternal role in Episodes 1 and 2, but in Episode 3, she reverts to her typical adolescent shenanigans. Missy introduces George to her new buddy Taylor, who is getting ready to accompany them to the movies or the shopping. Before one of Mary's letters inquires as to Taylor's gender, George believes that she is a girl and is fine with it. At that point, however, George becomes enraged. Missy assures George that Taylor is gay, even if he is a boy, so he doesn't need to worry. As the two are seen cuddling on his sofa, Taylor is formally introduced as Missy's boyfriend, but it turns out that this is all a big deception meant to get George off of her back. Taylor doesn't appear to care when Missy tells George what she told him. Mima moves in with boyfriend Dale following the tornado, officially flying the nest. Mima becomes serious with Dale. Her extreme reluctance to do this has been demonstrated in earlier episodes, which explains why she moved in with her family when she first lost her house. The couple's new living situation is not off to a good start, as Mima becomes quickly irritated with Dale's monotonous guitar playing, especially when he keeps playing the same Johnny Cash song. For more videos, subscribe.